So before you actually start with your resin, you want to make sure that you have no oil on your pieces. And with that, I don't mean silicone or hair oil you used in there. I just mean like literally touching with your fingers, with your oily or little greasy fingers, the canvas. So that can actually then reject the resin here on the side sometimes. So what I use is like a multi-surface antibacterial spray and just some paper towel and yeah, then just clean it up nicely and then wait a little bit. So this is the resin I'm working with. It's called Total Cast and it's a one and one resin. You have here the resin and here the hardener. And my calculation with this is always length and height times 0 0.1. 158 so we would have here on this one 25 centimeter by 25 centimeter times 0 0.1 uh, 58 um, and we would end up at around 100 gram um, as it's for volume um, what we try here so it says 100 to cover but we also want the sides to cover so i go with 120, we divide that by two, so we end up at 60 and 60. So all you need is now your kitchen scale, a plastic cup and a scoop. And later to pop the air bubbles, we need the torch here. So let's just start it. So I want to make sure. Okay, that didn't work. Nice. <coughs> okay, so we do sixty and sixty. So we're getting there, we got 58, 60. So we have 60 here of the hardener, or 61. Now we go 222. Keep in mind, I did a little bit more because I want to cover also my edges. So always do a little bit more, it definitely doesn't hurt. A little too high, 120, perfect. <clears throat> so we put that away. And now it's important to kind of do it very slow. So don't go too fast because then you're just getting more and more air bubbles. So I try to go slow, really make sure you have it on your sides and at the bottom, and you do it about for three minutes. So, you want to make sure to get everything out 
and then you just cover your artwork with the stick I do here with the chopstick. Um, make sure that you get the resin from the middle um, to the edges of your canvas. It's especially important if you're working on a regular canvas and not a wood panel, so the weight doesn't stay just in the middle and gets pulled away from the edges. Um, resin is self leveling so keep that in mind. And try to wear a mask, a respirator mask. I'm not having one as I have the doors open and the windows open and have my mask in Germany. But yeah, if you're working in a closed space, definitely make sure you wear a mask and wear your gloves. And yeah, now I'm just um, torching the air bubbles and yeah, then it's done. So you, if you don't have a torch, you can also use, of course, a heat gun. I like to cover the edges and yeah, then you just actually cover up your artwork and let it cure. Really make sure that you also clean the box from the inside because you want to make sure that it's really clean and nothing can drop into the paintings if it's just dust or so. So let me show you some of the finished pieces. They're all cured now and they turned out so beautiful. So you see that resin brings your artwork just to another level. Um, I'm loving this so much. If you like this and if this helps you actually then I would appreciate a like, a share if you subscribe to my channel. Um, another great way to support my artwork and helps me growing and keep doing those tutorials is um, to become a patron on my Patreon page. Um, yeah, a big thanks goes out to my Patreons there. Um, those are Orlando, Frido, Kim, Manu, Stefano, and Missy. Thank you so much for yeah, supporting my artwork. I really appreciate this so much. Have a great and awesome Tuesday. Bye.